Zero issues since I started doing this. Can you explain this gap in your resume? No, I signed an NDA. <laughs> yeah, what are they gonna do about that, right? One of the biggest landlords in Los Angeles just defaulted on $755 million in loans for two skyscrapers as remote work keeps offices vacant. That's why they want you to come back so bad. You know, I think that's great that the landlord can't pay his rent. Oh well, evict his ass. Bye-bye. See ya. Sucks to suck. Get a real job now. Just pull yourself up by your bootstraps, you know? You'll be a billionaire in no time, trust me. This is the land of opportunity. 16 and 17 year olds should not have their paycheck taxed because they can't vote. Taxation without representation. You know, I never thought about that. I have a master's degree, 16 years of experience, work two extra jobs, and donate blood plasma to pay the bills. I'm a teacher in America. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. So cool. What's the biggest lesson that employment has taught you? Efficient workers got punished with more work. Yep, that's why so many people have taught themselves and trained themselves over the years to do literally the bare minimum to meet expectations. Because if you're a great worker, cool, you get to do a bunch more with nothing extra coming your way. Maybe people who meditate for an hour a slash day are happier because they live a life that affords them an hour slash day to meditate. Yeah, yeah, that's how that's always worked. People that have crap tons of money and don't have to worry about anything at all in the world are the ones that think they're full of life lessons for you. Well, they have the money and time to do whatever they want and experience whatever they want. So of course they think they're smarter and more learned than yourself. I could die and my job would get a Ouija board and ask if I got someone to cover my shift. <laughs> And they would have zero problem with it. There would be zero problem in anybody's minds doing something that freaky. It sounds outlandish, it sounds stupid, but I guarantee you someone would actually do it. Tell employees we can't afford to pay more. Brag about record profits. Literally every single company. I'm so done with this petty asinine bull you guys are not allowed to be eating and or snacking for free if you're not upper management, which are general manager, D DM, J, Jim, or ops. If I catch you eating my food, it will result in termination. <laughs> there are no more call outs or call offs allowed without a doctor's note turned in after the third call off without an excused note. It will result in termination. Oh no, I'm gonna get fired for in Carl's Jr. Oh no! It's not like I can't walk across the parking lot to McDonald's, get better pay, and not have to deal with your bullshit. No, I'm not saying McDonald's is good. They're terrible too. But I guarantee you I'm gonna be making more money working at McDonald's than working at this hole run by a jackass. Straight up. 64% of Americans living paycheck to paycheck. 15 million children experiencing food insecurity. Over 567,000 homeless people. Meanwhile, U.S. billionaires have added over $7 trillion to their wealth over the last decade. Media, look, a balloon! <laughs> uh, honestly, at this point, why, why do we care about the balloon? What are they gonna learn that they haven't learned through TikTok? You know what I mean? <laughs> they got everything they wanted, you know? Who gives a f about the balloon, man? <laughs> Oh, God. Bankers earn more than teachers and nurses, and I couldn't tell you a single thing a banker has done for me. But I can name a million things that teachers and nurses have done for me. I just, uh, Thank you for your encouragement, commitment, investment, involvement with driving sales and beating plan by six million dollars. You're very appreciated. So, I know for a fact the managers, bosses, whatever you want to call them, know exactly how awfully stupid this stuff is, how insulting it is, how degrading it is. I love that they do it with a f***ing smile on their face. You know for a fact inside their brain they probably went, is this incredibly stupid and embarrassing? Yeah, it is! I don't give a sh they gave me a bonus, I'm giving them a lifesaver mint. The bank says I can't afford a $1,200 mortgage, so I pay $2,000 in rent instead. And it doesn't go towards your credit! Wow! My employer is demanding my newborn's birth certificate, even though I didn't take paternity leave because my employer doesn't offer it. Wait, what? More than anything, I want to know why HR is hounding me for it. I took a week of paid vacation off for when he was born. I got a call a few days before I was going to take the time off from HR saying word got to her that I'm having a baby. She said I'm eligible for FMLA, FMLA, oh, and she just needs my son's birth certificate. I said I wasn't planning on taking unpaid leave. Her response was, well, send it anyway. You never know. I've been back to work for four weeks now, and they're still hounding me for it. 
I'm starting to suspect my employer gets some sort of tax break if they categorize my paid vacation as leave. What gives? Oh, absolutely they do. They never, ever, ever do anything for your benefit. Remember, HR is not there to protect you, it's to protect the company from any kind of legal troubles or otherwise. HR ain't your friend. Pizza Shop is hiring just non-stupid people. Oh, that rules me out then. A lot of people we've hired just don't want to work. Maybe your place is a hole. There's no work ethic behind them. So that's the meaning behind the non-stupid. The business said someone called in a fake order of over $100 in response to it. Ah, I've said it before, I'll say it again, and I will say it so many more times that it might even become a catchphrase of mine. If you can't afford to pay your employees a living wage, a wage that will allow them to live and work for you full time, you do not deserve to be in business at all. You guys should get more labor protections from your government. When I moved from the USA to Germany, I eventually completely changed jobs to a rather large and well-funded German company. The kind of company in America that you'd say, ooh, they'll have good benefits. I asked them during the negotiation phase, so what are the other benefits I didn't see them listed in my employment contract? I did not mean to read that like that. <laughs> and they looked at me like I was an alien. They had no concept of what benefits were. I asked about health care, days off, sick leave, etc. And they told me, we just do what the current regulations enforce, which is unlimited sick leave, 30 days of vacation, plus holidays, and we will pay for whatever health care insurance you have purchased. It was one of those moments where I really realized how much of a screwed up bubble the USA is. <laughs> yeah, I remember the realization too. Oh. Oh, it's so good. Leaving without giving two weeks notice changes last check's hourly rate to minimum wage? You know what's funny? That doesn't seem legal at all. I do believe that is against the law. It might depend on the state you're in, but I, I that can't be right. Absolutely not. Jeez. $5 is extortion for a pay stub. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All employees, exempt and non-exempt, will be charged five bucks per page on the following requests. You're, are you allowed to charge for something you're legally required to give to your employees? I mean, sure, prior year's W-2s? What? Must be paid in cash and will not be deducted from paychecks. Oh, so you're also committing some kind of under-the-table tax fraud? Hmm, I don't know about all that one, fellas. American, I have two jobs and still can't make rent. We need a living wage. GOP, living wage? Go to college. I can't afford tuition. Ask your parents. They're still in college debt. Get a job. I just told you I have two. I'll be born rich next time. Yeah, stupid. Don't have any money? Why don't you just get more, moron? Handcuffed and jailed at 93 years old in Florida for not paying the rent at her independent living facility and refusing to leave once evicted. How do you have the heart to evict a 93-year-old woman out of her house and arrest her for not paying rent when she's too disabled to even work and can't make any money? <laughs> you all really some heartless animals. Oh, that's putting it real lightly. I don't have much information on this story. This could be completely fake. You never know. You never know, right? But I totally believe it's real because here in America, stories like this, 99% of the time, they're completely true. I mean, hey, nearly 600,000 homeless people that we treat as animals, it's great. Of course, a story like this would be real. So we weird how nobody ever asks how we pay for the endless wars or the billions in tax breaks we give to the richest people on earth, but the second someone mentions policies to vastly improve millions of lives, Grandpa breaks out the f***ing abacus. Of course he does. F*** you. He got his. That's the unfortunate part about that, dude. Sometimes your grandparents, that's their mindset, man. Sometimes it's a screw you, got mine situation, you know? And, you know, when you get older, you don't feel like you have to give a f about people anymore sometimes. A new Iowa bill would roll back child labor laws, allowing 14 to 17 year olds to work in mining, meatpacking, demolition, operating guillotine shears, and other dangerous jobs. Under the business back bill, employers wouldn't be civilly liable if kids are injured or killed. <laughs> We're literally going back over a hundred years. We're, we're just straight up winding the clock back. I'm starting to feel like CEOs and executives of companies behind closed doors, they're wearing like hundred year old suits, smoking giant cigars, wearing monocles, big ass top hats. They just don't want us to see them for who they truly are, King cartoon villains. That is straight up all these people are. No such thing as a good CEO, in my opinion, man. Bizarre study finds pizza motivates employees more than cash bonuses. 
why money isn't all that great of a motivator, and why pizza is. Who wrote this? Uh, who, who wrote it? Because I would like to find them and kick them so hard in the crotch that their ancestors feel it, dude. A nurse from Wyckoff Medical Center in Brooklyn. Oh boy. Please don't call me a hero. I'm being martyred against my will. M you are being martyred. Ain't that the truth? Good lord. A homeless man in New York City would regularly order an expensive dinner at a restaurant and refuse to pay for it to be sent to prison where he would receive three meals a day and a clean bed. He refused to commit more severe crimes to get longer sentences as he did not want to hurt anyone. Weirdfacts.org. Well, if this is indeed a fact, wow, it does get worse. Oh, imagine thinking your only option is to commit crimes so that you can be imprisoned so your life gets better. It obviously doesn't, or there wouldn't be so many protests around the world right now. Young laid off workers need to know that shutting up has value. <laughs> You know, it's so funny, Mr. Gus Carlton, because you don't seem to understand that shutting up has value. So maybe you should take some of your own medicine and shut the f up. Sex work is real work, unlike being a landlord. <laughs> oh, dude, I have never met a single landlord that does anything they claim to do. Oh, I'm on call 24 set. No, the f you ain't. Shut up. You call your boss in the morning to say you will not be in due to not feeling well. Your boss wants to know specifically what's wrong with you. What do you say to make your boss instantly regret asking? <laughs> oh, dude. That's a really personal question. Can we keep this conversation professional? And if they push it, oh, my penis is bleeding. Did you want pictures as well? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't do that. They might be able to call that some form of sexual harassment. They, they'll do anything to not look like the asshole in the situation. Disney just announced that its theme park made $2.1 billion in profit in the last three months. Yet the company recently said their best offer for workers at Disney World, who are paid so little that some live out of their cars, was a $1 raise. 97% of workers voted to reject it. And that's at Disney World. Can you imagine living in Florida, which has, I'm pretty certain, a lower cost of living than where I live in the middle of the country, and y you can't afford to live there because Disney pays so little. Now at Disneyland, it makes more sense because they're living in Anaheim. That place is so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but holy crap, Disney, not only are you ruining your freaking parks, but somehow you're making more money than ever off of them. And you're not sharing that at all. Who, who, who are you giving uh, a lot of that money to? Oh, is it because you needed Iger back because Chapek was such a goddamn loser that he nearly bankrupt a certain side of your company? Okay, he didn't actually almost bankrupt anything. You can tell the Disney thing is very near and dear to my heart. Anyway... You, Disney. Grad schools doing illegal stuff. From Twitter, from a friend. Dear Temple student, as a result of your participation in the TUGSA strike, your tuition remission has been removed for the spring semester. You now owe the full balance listed in TU pay, which is due by Thursday. The full balance? If your balance is not paid in full by the due date, you will be assessed a $100 late payment fee, and a financial hold will be placed on your student account. This hold will prevent future registration. For your convenience, you can make the payment online by clicking here. We gotta start burning places down that do this type of crap. No billionaire has ever worked as hard as someone who needs two jobs to make rent and has to go home and take care of their kids and clean their own apartment. Not even close. Well, yeah, most billionaires, most, started pretty rich from birth. People almost never talk about how lifestyle creep when you begin to make more money is not so much spending on luxuries, but rather all the life maintenance things you couldn't tend to before that end up being really expensive, like dental work or car repairs. Ah, dental work. Remember, they're luxury bones that should be expensive. I want to be rich means. You want to get rid of the alarm clock. You want to leisurely spend time with people you love. You want to stop worrying about the rent or whether you can buy healthy food. You want to be able to help. You want to do more of what you love. Basically, you can take all of that and say you want to live life because people enjoy working. There's nothing wrong with that. If you like working, dude, that's totally fair. Good on you. It gives you something to do, might help you get a sense of purpose, whatever. But humans are not meant to stock shelves at Walmart until they're 94 years old. We should be allowed to live life more than three weeks a year. Oh wait, here in the US it's two weeks a year because that's really all you get. And no, I don't count the weekend days off, your two days off that you normally get over here because that's worthless. It's worthless. CEOs are hugely expensive. Why not automate them? 
If a single role is as expensive as thousands of workers, it's surely the prime candidate for robot-induced redundancy. <laughs> yeah, they sure are useless. I mean, look at that CEO of Twitter. Oh, no, wait, he's a genius. I received this email from my company today. They're holding a company picnic, and we're expected to pay for all of it. How would you personally handle this? Wait, 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 hold on. Our second annual company picnic will be held at blank amusement park. An amusement park? Tickets are 25 a person. There will also be a lunch meal that will be $12.72 per adult and $9.54 per child. Lunch meal will be blah, 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 blah. Uh, why are they hosting a picnic in an amusement park? I mean, look, if this amusement park has more expensive tickets than what they're offering right here, then it could be a benefit, I guess? You know what I mean? Like, oh, tickets are 25 bucks a person, we're hosting our picnic in Disneyland. Then yeah, dude, you're getting a deal, all right? But <laughs> when these workers unionized, their cafe was put up for sale. So they bought it. Cafe workers, we're unionizing. Owner, oh, lol, then I'm selling the cafe. Proceeds to buy the cafe and turn it into a co-op. <laughs> oh, that's awesome genuinely surprised the owner was like, yeah, I'll let you guys buy it. I'm sure they made out pretty decently, but I mean, oh, can you imagine doing that though? Epic play. You know, epic play on everyone's part here. Bravo, just bravo, dude. With exploding technology and increased worker productivity, it's time to move toward a four day work week with no loss of pay. Workers must benefit from technology not just the CEOs. Well, yeah, here's my problem with the four day work week though. And it's not that it's four days. My problem is that they're gonna go, oh, no loss of pay, no problem. Now your shifts are 10 plus hours. Cool. So on those four days, I get to live even less of my life. Sure, the three day weekend, beautiful. But oh my God, brother in Christ, I'm so tired of this. Now, should I send this email after a bad screening call? Is it worth potentially losing an opportunity? I would like to respectfully withdraw my application following my negative experience speaking with your colleague Sandy. Sandy arrived late and unprepared. The bare minimum level of professionalism I expect from a recruiter is to respect my time and to have read my CV before the call. To then be asked whether I would accept 20,000 pounds less than the expected salary I set out when all Sandy knew about my experience and expertise was the 30 second summary I'd just given her was insulting. I found the entire tone of the conversation belittling and condescending and centered around pay and it's left a sour taste in my mouth. I'm disappointed as I applied because I'd heard good things about you as an employer. However, I don't think I can continue in this process with a company that has made me feel so undervalued at the very first interaction. Haha, <laughs> thanks a lot, Sandy. A woman makes $80,000 selling nudes on OnlyFans to pay for cancer treatment. Yeah, we'll just leave this image up on screen for the next, like, 10 hours just so you can read it again and again and again. It really sums things up quite nicely. 10 hours later. Next level micromanagement. As stated in the job description, we require an IP camera setup to provide a live video and audio feed of your workplace during the shift timings. Are you comfortable with this setting? No, you can take that and shove it up your ass. No, you can print this particular question out, roll it up and just shove it right up there. Absolutely not. I was in an accident due to California blizzard. Oh, right. Stranded overnight in the snow, no cell service. My boss's response. Oh boy. Are you okay? Was another vehicle involved? Where are you currently? Yeah, I'm okay now. There was a car under a tree with a semi parked in front of it. I slid on the black ice into the semi and ended up with my car resting on the guardrail. Well, gosh, uh, glad you're okay and sorry about that. Did you have to seek medical care? If you're okay now, how come you didn't report to work or blah, blah, blah? Oh, guess what? I quit. Six signs you'll be a billionaire. You grew up rich. You have sociopathic tendencies, you only care about yourself, you love exploiting workers, you're great at union busting, and you receive government subsidies. So I and a few others on the schedule are being punished for something we weren't even on site for. Is this wage theft? A $5 off register for yesterday. I think it's time to take all bonuses off the table until this store can learn to balance registers. Yeah, if you weren't there, it, no, that is wage theft. And I guarantee you nothing was wrong with the registers, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Uh, call them out on it. World's largest four-day work week trial finds few are going back. And about one in six employees in the study said no amount of money would convince them to return to five days a week. Even puppers get it. What has your pet accidentally conditioned you to do? One of my dogs has several barks. A play bark and a squirrel bark and other dog things that are normal dog barks. He also has what we call his emergency bark. 
The emergency bark is what he does when he thinks there is serious danger. It's extremely loud and makes us jump every time. He usually reserves it for things like the time I fell down the stairs and he scream barked for my husband to help, or when someone's in our front yard or when he cornered a possum in the backyard. However, since my husband started working from home, the dog barks his emergency bark at my husband if he tries working past 4 p.m. My husband has now learned to stop working at about 3.50 every day to avoid that jarring sound. No paid sick leave for you railroad workers either. Meet the CEO of Norfolk Southern, Alan Shaw. His net worth is at least $11 million. He lives in an 8,000 square foot mansion. He poisoned a small town for profit. Let's make him famous. <laughs> oh, CEOs. Start sharpening them guillotines, boys. For legal reasons, the joke I just made is indeed a joke, whether or not you find it funny. So, you know, no, I'm not actually calling for, well, you know. I mean, come on, think about it seriously. Inflation will remain sticky for a decade, and Gen Z and millennials are to blame, an investment chief says. Hey, Gen Z, welcome to the blame game. We're still on the board. The millennials are still on the board here, but look, we're gonna slip off here pretty soon, and then they're just gonna start blaming solely you, okay? That's what the boomers do. And yeah, the boomers are still around. Gen X is turning into them, though, unfor like, completely. Gen X is completely turning into just as bad boomers. And it sucks, so we'll truly never be rid of them. A 10-day general strike would accomplish more for the working class majority than a century's worth of elections. It would represent an immediate momentum shift by bringing the capitalist behemoth to its knees. Our true power is in our collective labor, not in a voting booth. Interesting list for minimum wage pay and outdoor labor. If you answer yes to any of the following statements, please don't contact us. You're grumpy in the morning. Your favorite place is under the covers in your mom's basement. You're afraid of heights. Don't try to fool us on this. We will know right away. You're a victim, a whiner, or complainer. You smoke at work, you do drugs, or you drink heavily, okay? You look like a tattoo parlor experiment gone wrong. You can't lift heavy stuff without sustaining a back injury. I love that. I love that one in particular because you know they had an employee that nearly broke their f***ing back and they just got so pissed off that someone would have the audacity to get injured, right? Or you're a wuss when it gets too cold or too hot out. I hope these people go out of business. Guys, help. I told an employee he sucks and now he says we aren't BFFs anymore. How to handle distant employee after performance review. So, I recently gave a poor performance review to an employee, and he's since working much faster. We started a deadline and daily check-in system. Did you start paying more? But has become much more distant. He always eats with the team, but now claims he has to go somewhere on his lunch break. He usually suggests coffee with me in the morning and has abruptly stopped. It seems like he's avoiding me and sitting as far away as possible from me in the office. He's also stopped ab abruptly dressing up for work. It's not compulsory, but he's usually coming to the office in a suit. When I talk to him, he's still polite, however. How would you handle this? Um, I'd stop being such a little bitch. They want a cashier who's a college graduate, has a diploma, transcript of records from the university, 20 to 30 years old, minimum of 5 foot 2, and the salary to be minimum wage. For a cashier job? For a cashier job. Dude, when I worked for Target, they force trained me as a cashier, even though that wasn't my main job, and it took them 10 minutes. 10 minutes of training to be a cashier. Dude, you have got to be completely f***ing with me right now. There's no way in hell. <laughs> oh, and minimum wage too? No, if you're, if you're wanting all these qualifications, including how I physically f***ing look, yeah. You know what? How about 50 bucks an hour, bitch? How do you feel about someone who does the bare minimum? Oh, you mean their job? <laughs> Sit down. We need to talk to you about quiet quitting. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I love the bare minimum. So wait, I'm doing my job exactly as you trained me to do, exactly as I was hired to do. And you need me to do more. Okay, then we're going to change the job title. We're going to upgrade the pay. We're going to move things around a little bit. And then I'll do more. I will do what is required. Suck it. Just had a call with someone on Forbes 30 under 30 list and came away really impressed. He shared with me how he made VP at a top tech company before 30. All right. 4.30 a.m. wake up, cold showers, gratitude journal, meditate, dad owns the tech company. You know what's great? This, this tweet is fantastic, by the way. If you want to see someone put their money where their mouth is, you should go watch Curtis Connors' video about how he lived like a billionaire for an entire week. Uh, yeah, it's bullshit but you should watch it. I'm the only customer service rep scheduled today for a $20 billion company. Oh yeah, I've seen this one before. I wouldn't be doing anything. Then if I did decide to take any calls, oh, I'm taking my sweet 
fucking time, dude. The Great Resignation is now the Great Regret. 80% of job hoppers wish they hadn't quit their old roles, with Gen Z the most regretful. Liar. You are lying. That is not true. <laughs> Good God. Minnesota House passes paid sick and safe time bill for all workers. I employ four people full-time. How am I supposed to run my business if one of them takes advantage of 24 weeks paid leave, and I'm required to hold their position during that time? What if two of them take advantage of this leave at the same time? What? Oh my god, I can't, I can't do it here, man! Sometimes I forget that Elon Musk has always been a privileged rich kid, and Elon Musk's daddy owned an emerald mine, and Elon Musk walked around with jewels in his pockets, and Elon Musk didn't start Tesla, he just ousted the founders, and Elon Musk has never invented anything. Sometimes. Boss is tired of all the complaining. Good morning, ladies. So I've been hearing a lot of complaining lately. Let me make this very clear. If you have a problem with the wage you get paid, please feel free to have a discussion with me. The wage you all receive is fair, wrong, especially when it comes to house parties, etc. If you have a problem with me and I hear anyone speak about me negatively, this will result in loss of shifts and or job. Wow, you're admitting to cutting people's shifts? I see a lot of you just say, I'll fire you, but I've never seen someone say that I will, s <laughs> I'll quiet fire you. That's what, that's what we should start calling it. I've heard so much crap being said about other staff members and myself. I will absolutely not put up with this going into busy season. It stops now or find another job. I don't know what these ladies do for a living. I don't know what you, I, I don't know what this is, what the job is but I feel like there's a lot better out there for them. Told my boss I quit, and he's not going to pay me? You can't just not pay me because I didn't show up. That's illegal. You've lost and damaged more than you've earned. Oh, this is where he's going to make stuff up. Do the math. I said you're just as responsible for ensuring nothing happens to property, and Zach. Zach has no issues paying $200 of the charges. I'm charging you 60. Then you, I, f my 125 dolly. And the damages you and David cause are going to be split. After all that, blah, 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 blah. Thanks for it in writing. Yes, I can. It's not illegal. And I told y'all when you started, if you don't show up, I'll charge y'all what they charge me. You're welcome. Thank you, too. Labor laws, bro. Dude's going to be in trouble. Gen Z's not lazy. They're just refusing to put up with the toxic work culture that boomers created. Yeah, and they're gonna be the really successful ones. The millennials have been trying for a while, not as successfully as we would have hoped. But Gen Z? I got hope for them, man. They don't take shit. The rising economic tide. Profits are up. My compensation has doubled. Look at me, I'm walking on water. Wages are flat. My buying power is shrinking. I'm not even treading water. Yeah, they, they are intentionally drowning you. It works. 92% of companies keep it. Burnout down by 71%. Sick days down by 65 Revenue up 1.4% on average. No question about it, the UK's four-day week trial was a huge success. It's time for the four-day week to go mainstream. Good luck with that over here. Employers think that their uh, employees, again, are subhuman. It's just a lot of that attitude going around. The upward redistribution of wealth over the past 40 years has shifted $50 trillion from the bottom 90% to the top one. That's $50 trillion that would have gone into the paychecks of working Americans. The greatest trick of all is trickle-down economics. Uh, who conceptualized trickle-down economics, I wonder? Whose idea was that? It's that easy to be a billionaire in the USA. Finland ended homelessness. They provide a small apartment and counseling with no preconditions. Four out of five make their way back into a stable life, and guess what? It was cheaper than allowing homelessness to continue. Good luck trying to be a billionaire over there. I, I'm pretty sure they have at least one. I was I was literally in Finland this Christmas, this or a couple months ago, right? I was there, and I thought that this little factoid was overstating things. I thought, oh, really, they got rid of all homeless? I doubt it. I went to several cities in Finland, and um, not a single mother on the street getting glares from random people because they don't have a place to live. Not a single one. I was blown away. Utterly insane. So cool to see. Good on you, Finland. Activision just announced the removal of work from home options and is denying applications for working from home permanently to people with disabilities. Mass walkouts ensued, as they should. Oh, Activision, you are such a shit company. Thank you for reaching out. As mentioned on today's town hall, Activision is requiring employees to return to office beginning April 10th, 2023. Our working model for Activision QA in El Segundo, Austin, and Minneapolis requires employees to be in the office three days a week and work remotely two days a week. Why do they want that so badly? 
The expectation is for employees to be within a reasonable commute to the office they were hired for. As a result, there are no permanent remote work opportunities within QA. And it's within QA, too? Good lord, whatever, dude. Guess who no longer works at home? Got pulled into a meeting today with my boss and was informed that I'll be required to come back to the site permanently, <laughs> even though I was hired as a work-from-home agent. She asked if I had any problems with that, so I told her I don't have a car and I live 30 miles away. Her response was to say, the company's not required to take into account your transportation needs. Then she just hung up. I don't know what I'm going to do. I know what I would do. Instantaneously quit. They don't even deserve notice. To be fair, most companies absolutely don't deserve notice, but holy crap. And yes, I know that just quitting your job on a whim is not a luxury that most people have, but what's the alternative here? He literally can't continue the job. Because I can't decompress at home? You need to detach and re oh, psychologically recover from work, professors say the solution commuting. Yeah. For most American workers who commute, the trip to and from the office takes nearly one full hour a day. 26 minutes each way on average, with 7.7% of workers spending two hours or more on the road. Many people think of commuting as a chore and a waste of time. Yeah, because it is, and it's super expensive. It, it, it doesn't matter how long the commute is. It takes more of your energy, more time out of your freaking life. You don't get paid for your commute, which you should be, especially if it's that long. They're so stupid.